Well, hello, fellow gamer thugs. Well, what do we have in today's video, man? It's Ghost of Tsushima gameplay from the PS4 state of play. So let's hop in. We do this now. All right. I want to tell you guys this. This is Sucker Punch's game. Why I'm just pointing out is because uh, we got a famous games, you know, like oh, Infamous Second Son and Infamous First Light. It's a great game. So let's hop in now. Let's see how this goes. Combat, customization, special modes. What the developer is talking right now. Let's take a look so let's hear that out. Explore the world of Tsushima. There is a title. It's pretty catchy, right? Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah. Exploring Tsushima. Okay. We're gonna take a look. A little tour, I guess. <laughs> okay, the wall seems nice. Part of our open world design since the very beginning. The lighting is good, but, but you can't have exploration. I don't know, don't it, curiosity. it doesn't feel so the light doesn't feel so realistic. It's just it, it looks good though. But I don't feel the realistic lighting from the world. So well, let's see how this progresses. Oh, there's a map. Yep. Undiscovered location. Okay. Well, look at that. Use a guiding wind to navigate the land. You mean the wind will navigate the way for us? That's, that's so weird. Dude, is this for real? Alright, guys, come on, this is for real. So, how do you even use this? Oh, just like that. Look at those winds, man. <laughs> So there, those are the things that guide us in this thing. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a horse. <laughs> well, the physics seems nice. And yeah, the physics are good. Okay. Hey, wow! Look at this, man. The vegetation—it's so good. Oh, the lighting. Look at the light that just passes through each and every, you know, movement of the grass and the trees. And look at the colors. It's a good blend, I would say. A lot of great quality and depth. Call Gusset of Wind at any time to point you in the right direction. Okay. So that is pretty much our navigation in this game, guys. You gotta, you gotta check out the wind each and every time, you know. That is kind of weird, but it is kind of new, though. Oh, look at that. Look at the meter. Suspicious meter. Someone's watching us. Okay, we got out of it. <laughs> okay, there's a bear, so we can see some wildlife here and there. And... Uh, what are the... Oh, those are bamboo sticks, but we got a craft, you know, just like from, uh, from Horizon Zero Dawn. Look at the lighting is pretty good. You got a farmstead, okay. The Mongol territory. The guiding wind can take you to all kinds of locations right. in the game. Like this farmstead that's been taken over by the Mongols. It can also take you to your next big story moments or even help you find oh, rare collectibles. Okay. But what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen yet, that you don't know exist? All right. Keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues. So we're not Smoke going there now the horizon, to, you know, the rescue the hostages, kill enemies without trying to get your killing. <laughs> okay, we're going the other way. They're showing the other way. Hopefully we'll have the combat thing, you know, the next segment of the video, I guess. Let's see. Okay, we're exploring the Yagata forest now. The trees, the mesh quality, and it. Everything is so good. The vegetation is really impressive in this game, and the lighting is so good. But I don't feel the light is so realistic, but it looks good, though. Some birds will lead Jin to points of interest. Okay. So everything in this game is pretty much accessible. The wind. <laughs> the trees. The birds. Oh, just like that. The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this The smoke. Forest. Yeah. Okay, where do we go now? Let's go, Nobu. Alright, we're checking this little house in here. The physics is fine, man. I mean, come on, guys. 
Okay, we got supplies in here. Explore abandoned buildings to collect rare resources. Okay. So this is pretty much in every other game, so... Wow, look at the lighting, guys. And the leaves just falling out of the trees, and... Okay, there are, there are a lot of processing power going on. Probably GPU accelerated, I don't know. Foxes will guide Jane to hidden shrines across the land. Whoa, see, just like I said, everything in this game is pretty much accessible. The birds, the trees, the smoke, the foxes. <laughs> what next, an elephant and a bear? Bear? I don't know. Look at that. There's a, oh, there's a dead guy. Okay, our character didn't pay much attention to that. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, uh, do you have this feeling with me? I mean, like, uh, the textures and everything, they're good, but at some point, the textures feel a little bit, you know, out of touch. I mean, look at this. Look at this, man. Look at the lighting and everything. Tsushima is rich with exploration and discovery. Oh, this is just so another just part of the video, the okay. Gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine. Or maybe it's just a All right. to show you something hidden in the woods. Oh man, pretty much every single game has this thing. Squeeze through a little point so that we can we can witness the other area. Oh, that's, that's pretty much high up here. We got a lot of climbing to do in this game too. And there are, there are collectibles. There's, I mean, like, pretty much in this game, each and every place has these falling leaves from the trees, man. It's like a trademark thing in this game, I don't know. I, I just want to tell you guys, this game feels kind of lonely, you know, and there are not much people to talk to and everything. I mean, it's it's an island, yes, I get it, but I expect some, you know, someone. I don't want to be alone. Well, the world is pretty much impressive, yep. Jin the Samurai. Hi. This is oh, Nate guys, Fox okay. Alright, man, the combat segment of now the game. We'll oh, it's here. The pretty much I've been waiting for. Gears and check out some okay. Combat. The developer said it by himself. Oh, this is the one I'm waiting for. Let's check out the combat, man. Look at the music, the BGM. It just, it just builds you up for this battle. The Samurai Warrior fight, man. We got a lot of sword fight going on. Yep, it's gonna be pretty cool and intense. If you've ever seen a samurai movie, you yeah, oh yeah, expect. man. <laughs> Two warriors. Sam stand off. Oh, that's cool. For the other okay. The first move. <laughs> There's a lot of pride going on in these fights, you know. Like you gotta fight me one on one, face to face, just like that thing. Yeah. All right, let's see what's going on. Whoa, that's it. One single swipe. Another one, same way. Oh wow, this is pretty intense and cool. Pretty easy, I would say. So we gotta build some momentum, like in Spider-Man, you know, like we, we gotta build those focus things, just like we got we got something here too. I don't know. As you can see, the Mongols are everywhere oh, on yeah. this island. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful yep. precision in fighting them. No wasted energy. Well, Every we got a lot of people in here. Wow, that's a headshot. Cool. Oh, that is super cool, man. Okay, the combat is really good. We gotta parry enemies at the last possible moment to, you know, hit the hit him back. Okay, wow. Visually, this is like a treat, man. Like a, like a typical samurai movie. We would feel that, you know, the sword swipes. <laughs> we like slit other people, which is really good. It's really fun, but don't do it in the real life, guys. Don't be dumbass, okay? Just have your fun inside the game. I don't want the combat to be, you know, like Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. That, that, you know, that pissed me off. Me and my brother. My brother really hated it. He doesn't like this game. I mean, I don't want no offense, man. That game uh, has got the game of the year and everything. I'm just not into it. <laughs> That's that. So I expect this game to have a little bit of accessible combat and and intensity at the same time. I want to be easy and tough at the same okay. time. So. so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's well, it's, it's nighttime the now, the and they the named the title like ghost. Samurai the Ghost. So. As the ghost, he'll use every dirty <laughs> trick Look at this jump. <laughs> even the odds, even using fear okay. as a weapon. Oh, there we can lure people. Okay. 
Okay, oh, we're pretty much gonna assassinate. Take him down. Oh, assassinate. That's the keyword they're saying. Alright. Okay. So we can. There's a lot of stealth going on. There's a, a lot of uh, direct combat things going on. Slitting people throat with, <laughs> with swords is fine. Well, stealth is good too. Yep. Okay, what do we got? What is that? That's a different lore. Is that a cracker? Guys, that's a cracker. Look at the way. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Man, the camera cuts is really good. Psycho Punch really, really did a good job here. And Famous Second Son is pretty intense and good too. And as well as the first light. So, they can really trust in these developer. You know, oh, look at this. Assassin's Creed kind of thing. Okay, we got one. But the other guy got a lot of armor and everything going on. So, it's not pretty much going to be easy. So, oh, look at that smoke bomb. Okay, that's one. He's not out yet. Oh, look at that heat block, man. Dude, is that like a Batarang thing? <laughs> look at that, look at that. Whoa, we got Batman thing going on here. He just fell down. He got scared or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo. Oh, they fear us, you know. Because we're the ghost. Uh, okay. Where is this guy heading? Where are you going, man? Oh, we got the ropes. Oh, we got an uncharted thing here. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Just like the uncharted ropes. Uh, another headshot. That's a beauty. You know, you always feel good whenever you get a headshot, right? <laughs> okay. We're being watched. I don't know. Oh, there's another one. We got. Oh, you didn't even take care of him. Okay, our objective is to destroy the, you know, this shipyard. So we can, um, you know. We have to prioritize the targets. We don't have to kill each and every one on the way. It's our objective. That's the, that's the you know the main thing. So R2 to ignite, and there you go. Okay, we gotta escape from there too. <laughs> oh, that's it. The ship thing is taken care of. <laughs> there we go. Destroy the shipyard. We got the objective done. <laughs> okay, now customizing Jin. Let's look at the customizing options for our character here. You might have okay, the developer is talking right now. The samurai, or sneaking around as the ghost, Jin had on a different set of armor. That's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical oh, advantages. Yeah. It's not just the way Great. it works. It helps accent your chosen playstyle. So guys, our armor matters As in this game, story, man. Each and everything you put on charms. matters. <laughs> They'll give you an edge in battle. But more importantly, as your legend grows, See, there are a lot of customizing options in here. Techniques which and we're going to equip a lot of, you know, stealth, direct approach, is, you, get to decide you know, using our uh, weapons. Grow so time. everything is good. It's always worth keeping an eye out for dye oh. flowers. Find enough of them, and you can change the color oh. of the armor. So Just by picking up these flowers, you can change the color of the armor? Okay. Evolves, but you can fine -tune the Just like I said, there are a lot of leaves flying away. Okay, we got a lot of customizing thing going on. And the winds. Oh. <laughs> the leaves, man. Leaves in this game, they always tire me. Okay, the photo mode. That is pretty much a common thing in today's modern gaming. Photo mode is, uh, is you know, every game has this now. In our new photo mode, we have features such as color. Oh, we got a lot of options. So you can focus on the right objects. 
we have a bunch of new features that really underline you know uh, guys uh, this uh, photo mode thing you can control the uh, you know from this game it actually gives me the, the flashbacks from <laughs> horizon zero dawn you can even select a track of music they have the same amount of customization going on through so if you're into doing a photo or maybe you actually want to do a video there's something here for you here's a few that I've okay created. the developer created some of his best thing <laughs> Look at that, he's climbing a mountain or a cliff and everything, and there are leaves flying there too. I mean, every everywhere you go, these leaves fly. <laughs> Japanese voice track, okay. So this is a good thing, guys. It's like a realistic samurai movie. We watch, uh, you know, the Japanese side of the content. It feels more realistic instead of being in English. I mean, we all prefer it to play the game in English, but playing from the original language, it gives, it, it gives the realistic feel. You know, the characters and everything, they feel, they feel home. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I mean, I don't understand anything, but it feels good. <laughs> Samurai Cinema, what's that? Hey, what's this? Everything in black and white? Or I, I, I went colorblind, I don't know. <laughs> Here at Sucker Punch, we are huge fans okay, of the whole video is in black and white now. Nothing's wrong with my eye. <laughs> your favorite samurai movie. Still love crashing waves. So we created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from the Oh, beginning. okay. So this is like a different mode. So what do you guys think? Do you guys prefer to, you know, use this option? Black and white the whole game? Well, it kind of looks good. Ooh, that's a that's a typical standoff samurai standoff. Look at that, just like a cowboy standoffs. Oh wow. Okay, man. Wow, that is intense. I'm really impressed by the combat. Your stance matters. Your damage matters. You know, whatever you do in this game, you know how you approach the. The, uh, the opponent, the enemies, so the world is good, and uh, the graphics is good. Sometimes the texture feels a little bit off, but it's overall it's good. But I really want you know a non PC NPC characters the here and there. It feels a little bit lonely. We've also, share with you some of the ways that you can fight as a samurai, or assassinate as the ghost, or customize Jin. I love the customization thing. Yeah. Ways. But we have so much more to show you. In the okay, future. wow, there's a promise. Ghost of Tsushima comes out on July 17th. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you later. Wow. Yeah, man, I'm impressed. Hope you guys are impressed. So, I want you guys to tell in the comments below do you prefer to play this game day one? Or wait for the reviews and everything? I mean, we'll stream this game on our channel, but. Uh, but if you guys ask me, I would wait for the reviews. I, I, w I wouldn't prefer to buy this game day one. Or, or hey guys, I want to ask these questions. Are some of you waiting for the PlayStation 5 up upgrade of this game? I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty much cheeky, right? Alright guys, thank you for having this time with us. And hope you guys like the whole video and the feed. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. And... You guys can recommend us what we can do in this channel to make this even better for you, the guys to watch. And thank you so much, man. Gamer Thugs, we're out.